We're going to show one of the very many ways that we have to boatload uh, users into ITEM. In this particular example, we have a CSV file that comes from a uh, SAP system, and we can take the user directly from SAP, or, or, or we can uh, just take uh, something that is output from CSV, like this uh, fairly good size uh, file and uh, process that into item and uh, first of all we're going to show that the users are not uh, these users are not in the system uh, for example let's focus on these first two users Mark Trahan and Stephen Johnson so what we are going to do is we're going to go into the team console which we are already log on and we look and manage users and we look for all the users in the system. We, we have 20 users, but we see that there's no Mr. Trahan or Steve Johnson, uh, at least not yet. So we have a s very simple program here that uh, it's going to add, it's going to take the CSV file and going to uh, process the entries and put them into. Uh, the HR database that we are using. Again, we can use this, do this directly from SAP, but just as an example, we are doing it differently here. So we put the password. We specify the location. We saw that that was in the uh, C uh, root, and it was called HR underscore SAP underscore cl cln dot csv and we're going to read the first two users only so as we see these two users uh, Mark Traham and Stephen Johnson has been added and as we see that item, that, that feed that we have with TDI, detects that this, to, this uh, new user has been added uh, into the database and uh, process that uh, information and creates the account based on the, on the provision in policy defined for that. And we can see that uh, these two fellows should be receiving an email, and should they did. Yeah with a new password and all the good stuff that we had seen before in our demos. Now if we go back to the console and we refresh this view, we're going to see that uh, Mark Trahan is here and where Stephen Johnson, uh, Stephen Johnson is here. So that's uh, a way of uh, bookloading uh, users. We've seen many, many times in the demos how you add the users one by one, but actually if you, you know, are installing an item for the first time, or you're uh, processing a merger or acquisition, how you can bookload all those users all at once.